So let's just say we're, we're going to imagine we're uh, applying this to some uh, news interview. And yeah, I was walking down the street and uh, suddenly out of the sky came a big ball of flame. It was a meteorite and it crashed in the field in front of me and there was a huge ball of fire. And we're going to double click the audio track, which is then going to open up your sample editor. And there's our wave file. And then you should have very audio. So what you do then is uh, simply just click the pitch and warp. And what it will do is pretty much like uh, make its own MIDI type notes uh, and assign them what it thinks it's hearing. So it hasn't changed anything yet. So if you just listen to it. it was a meteorite and it, yeah, I was walking down the street and uh, suddenly out of the sky. So as we listen to that getting very redundant audio, what we're going to do is make uh, the applications here for the plugin, the very audio plugin, and you'll hear what's happening. So you can see our wave file has, well, waves, right? Up and down it's going. And what this is going to do is move, not only move the notes, but it will also straighten the pitch. And we're going to select them all. And then we will quantize yeah, the pitch. So you don't hear too much difference there, but all it did was put the notes right in line. You see they're all perfectly within the note that they are in proximity to or were in proximity to what it decided it was close to. So obviously if somebody was singing, they're going to be, you know, close to the notes, right? Or not. Anyway, so I'll just keep playing this. Yeah, I was walking down the street and, uh, suddenly out of the sky and now we'll apply this. Uh, straighten the pitch. It was a meteorite and it crashed in the field in front of me and there was a huge ball of fire. Yeah, I was walking down the street and uh, suddenly out of the sky came a so you can hear that very ball of flame. It was a meteorite and it crashed. Robotic in sound and then you can also see that you see it's completely straightened the wave file. So I'll do that so you can just see how it changed the wave file. Right, it's really flattening it out and making it sound very robotic. And once you've done this, you can change these notes simply by dragging them. So let's just shorten this up here. Just drag them around. Change the whole key. You have them all selected. <laughs> so, or just individual notes? So this, um, you know, being in the more professional version, this can get really handy. To so I'll just do a quick example of if you were applying this to voice, how uh, much finesse you can use in tweaking that voice. So here I'll just do a quick vocal. Here's a quick vocal. So I'll just double click that, apply the pitch and warp. Now it's got the notes that I sang literally. The uh, Algorithm has analyzed the notes and placed them where they are. Now we'll quantize the pitch. And let's just say I didn't like that last note. Was But the point being is that now I've adjusted the pitch and you don't hear much difference, right? And you can now straighten the pitch and do it subtly. So here's not so subtly. So if you're trying to do this and, and get away with it without anybody noticing, you can just be really subtle with the straightening of the pitch and the quantizing. And it's not so robotic is the point. It's more in line with, you know, today's music is 
very pitch correct because you're using a lot of computers and a lot of computer technology so everything is finely tuned not like in the days of old when you might have a band playing together and not everybody is going to be in perfect pitch so or perfect tune so when you have these finely tuned instruments in the uh, computer and then you uh, apply a voice well it's nice to tune it up right? it's not really cheating you're just trying to make it sort of blend with everything so anyway these are the ways you can achieve auto tuning and of course you can get as creative as your mind will allow you and I hope this is helpful. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you take the time to subscribe, leave some comments, if you have any questions below I'd be happy to answer the questions and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.